It may seem odd, but how often have you thought about what makes a good handshake? Did anybody teach it to you before? If not, let's go over this a little bit because it can make the difference in making a positive first impression. I'm Dr. Stephanie Ray, a former state and national title holder who can help you ace the pageant interview. When a handshake's involved, it's the only part of an interview that involves touch. You combine that with a winning smile and great answer content, and you could be leaving with the crown. What equals a good handshake? Traditionally, in the U.S. at least, it is right hand to right hand, palm to palm, a nice firm shake or two. You know, you don't want to be so firm that you're hurting somebody, especially if they're older or have some sort of injury or arthritis. But you don't want to be so wimpy that you're just you know, shaking their fingertips or they feel like they're holding a limp fish for a couple shakes. It's palm to palm, nice firm handshake, and then you're done. You know, it may seem small, but it can be culturally or traditionally important in certain situations. So it's worth practicing once or twice with a few different people in your family or your circle of friends so that you feel more prepared when it comes your way. Of course, if somebody offers you a wimpy handshake, do not roll your eyes and go, that would be inappropriate. A queen is always diplomatic, but you can set the tone by how you extend your hand or receive their hand. No matter what happens, it's going to be over in a matter of moments. Of course, there are situations from time to time where somebody has an arm full of stuff or they have a, a broken arm or some other reason why the traditional USA right hand to right hand kind of handshake is not going to work. Well, in that case, just use your good sense. If they extend their left hand, you do as well. If you're the one who's initiating, feel free to extend your left hand or find another way to greet each other that does not involve a handshake. And of course, if you have the good fortune to do international service work, pay attention to what the local customs are. And while you can also bring your culture to that country and offer to handshake with people, be prepared that they might have another way to exchange traditional greetings and roll with the punches there. And I encourage you to look for other kinds of tips in this video series. There's a lot of them, so you might want to even subscribe to the series so you don't miss anything. And please go to pageanttophd.com where you'll find other great resources to help you shine your brightest. I'll see you next time.